right now coughing dead fish and respiratory irritation along our coastline as spring breakers flood the area. So you're looking at the FWC's latest map right now that we're seeing. There are both medium and high levels of red tide off the Pinellas County shoreline. Sarasota County is also being hit with high concentration. And trying to forecast red tide blooms is complicated, but Tampa Bay area scientists are experts in this process. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Clo went to their office for insight on how they do it. Scientists at USF's College of Marine Science forecast red tide in two ways. The first one we call seasonal prediction. Yonggang Liu is an associate professor at USF. Every year he researches currents to determine if there will be a major red tide event on our coast in the fall. If there's no persistent local current shelf interaction, there will be could be a major red tide for that year. That's for seasonal predictions. When there's red tide present, like we have right now. That's what we call short-term prediction. Once the red tide occurred on our coast, then we will use our uh, coastal ocean circulation model to track where the sail would go in the next three and a half days. Over the weekend, they predicted red tide was moving northward toward Tampa Bay area beaches. I can show this uh, on my screen, transport of water from south to north. They know the current status from water samples taken by scientists at the Florida Wildlife Research Institute. They take water samples back to the laboratory and count the cells uh, under the microscope. From there, they measure the concentration, allowing scientists to determine just how bad red tide is. Take those numbers. Uh, which indicate different levels of concentration. We show them this plot by different colors. Currently, we are seeing red tide on the map, meaning high concentrations of Karenia brevis, which is the toxin that causes red tide. Their forecast and the comfort of beachgoers are at the mercy of the wind. It's an ever-changing system. For 10 Tampa Bay, I'm Shannon Clow. And right now, experts say wind is a big factor in all of this.